Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft vanilla series. I'm Torgal, in case you don't know. And I ventured out to the... Oh, I don't even know. Which way did I go? I think I went... Why do I always have such a hard time finding this? West. Um, because you guys remember the first day we came with the boat and drove along this way and then we hit another... Uh, extreme hills biome over there so i remember there was ocean and i'm gonna say the hobbit hole is about three actually i got it written down right here about yeah pretty much exactly 400 blocks from here and so i ventured to the edge here because i want to set out with the boat here first today and do a little bit of exploring i kind of want to know what's on the other side of the ocean um, by the way, have you guys noticed this is the second boat? I don't know, I lost my first boat somewhere. And it has a different color because I made it with spruce. So the boats are actually different color depending on what you make it with. So I'm going to set out here. Man, the steering still... This is the problem, okay? When you let go, you guys see, like I'm letting go of A right now. So I'm going to turn left and then press it again. And then it pushes you back a little bit to the right again. So it actually makes it quite hard to get in a straight line at times. You gotta, you gotta like tap and stuff. Ooh, what's this? Are we already across? Is that it? <laughs> Is that the whole ocean I got here? I mean, that wouldn't be bad. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just venturing out. What would be cool is to find uh, a desert. I did uh, tear down. You can load anytime you want, chunk. Um, I found a. You guys see, like, back here, or over here, these sandbanks. I tore down a big one over the other day when I was picking up two sheep from the forest biome um, to the... If this is west... To the north. Yeah. Um, I picked up a bunch of sand over there, but I would like to find a desert. Um, what would be cool also would be to find a, a mesa biome, of course. Um, also, what? I cannot get out when I'm in F5. That's interesting. Um, and also, because I don't have any cactus yet. And the other thing would also be nice to find uh, sunflowers, um, acacia trees, and stuff like that. Ooh, look how pretty this is. What kind of biome is this? Flower forest. It just said something with sunflower. Sunflower plains. Where are the sunflowers? <laughs> Where are the sunflowers? There they are! Oh, that is awesome! Check this out! So we're just a spit across here. So it's just out of rendered. Oh, you can actually see one jungle tree right there. That is cool. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do some exploring here. And if I find anything, you know, interesting, maybe another village or something, I got a pen and paper ready. So I can take down coordinates. So once we actually head to the nether, you know, we can easily get back to these coordinates and stuff. But I just felt like exploring a little bit, maybe. I I'd like to get some acacia wood. That that would be really cool. And just, I take whatever comes um, my way. Ooh, there's tulips. I don't think that... I actually don't know if you can grow these with bone meal. Or if you can just get poppies and dandelions. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to maybe set up a flower farm one day. And try to find out. So is this an island? Man, that's gorgeous here. There's something big over there. Hmm. Not sure. No, I'm gonna keep going west, uh, guys. Like I said. And if I find anything interesting, I'll show you. Oh, I was waiting here in the boat for the sunrise. Because I didn't want to go on shore before the sun is up. Um, we're right over there is where the jungle is. Um... And I came actually further back behind me. And then I saw this in the horizon. I saw one acacia tree being rendered. And then I took a right turn and came here. And like I said, yeah, about... Yeah, something like 1600 blocks were away from the jungle over there. So, let's check out this place here. What? Oh, man, I keep pressing W to go forward. And you guys saw my little hitchhiker, right? You constantly have a squid in your boat. Well, who told you to get in my boat? All right, so I'm happy. We got sunflowers. Now we're going to get acacia. 
I don't want to break this one on the shore. I'm going to venture in there. Um, and the other thing, what I was thinking, by the way, um, yes, so we had two cows in the boat. My question is, does a horse fit in a boat? Because a lot of times in Savannah biomes, there's horses. And we found, or actually I found, I did not show you guys. It wasn't that interesting, that footage. When I was bringing home two sheep, um, I found five or six brown horses um, all together. And I know where they are, so if we don't find any other ones, I can always get those. And of course, we still have the skeleton ones, which I did some reading up about, by the way. The, those skeleton horses... No, actually... The wiki says that any horse can be a horse trap. So this is an island too? I like how the terrain now generates these islands. They used to be just these little, like this, over there. Now you have full-blown islands with stuff on it. That's actually pretty nifty. But yeah, as I was saying, the, the, this, uh, every horse, apparently, when, when you approach it or something, um, has a chance. Uh, of course, only the initial one, you know? I don't think it's... Um, random all the time that every time you approach a horse that you need to be worried about that but um, has a chance to turn into a skeleton horse and then spawn these skeleton archers that we saw this is what I'm really after here saplings um, and they have different attributes um, and so on and for example the skeleton horses from what I read is they always have the same speed. I don't know the exact numbers. I, I have to look them up on the wiki again. But only the wild horses pretty much have a, a random chance of having different jump strength and... Um, what is it called? The speed and so on. The same as donkeys and mules. They're always the same speed, I believe. So only wild horses you can get faster ones. Also, the skeleton ones cannot be bred. So, I just wanted to give you guys that information because I remember they scared me so much that episode. Anyways, um, doesn't seem to be much else on this island. So, I definitely want to keep going west until I actually hit mainland again. It can't be that far. I believe that, I think that was in 1.8 already. It was made that the biomes um, or the oceans are much smaller. Um, I remember in 1.6, 1.7, and so on, that's when I started playing modded. Well, actually 1.5, I started playing modded, but 1.6, I got really into it. Um, you could spend... I remember on one server I played on, I traveled 23,000 blocks in a boat until I had mainland again. It was kind of cool, because I never needed to worry about somebody coming over, grief in my place, or whatever. <laughs> But it was pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, um, if I find something, I'm going to get high ground here. If I find something else, I'll let you know. Otherwise, west is this way, right? Again, yep. Oh, we got how many saplings? That is plenty. Nine saplings is all I need to get started. Because the thing is that the acacia wood, why I wanted it so bad is because it's so pretty. I, I love this coloring. Um, it looks really good. And together with the spruce and the birch, I think we can... Use that in our jungle theme a lot. I think that's going to give it a nice accent. Couldn't find any horses in the savannah. And I ran back to the village now. We still have plenty of daytime left. Please tell me this is not a tiny one. I just tried to lead on... Um, on bunnies, and that works, by the way. I was thinking that it'd be nice to be able to get bunnies home once we have... Once we have a nether portal, now let me start lighting this up first. This whole village a little bit. All right, there you go. There's two in here already, so these guys are closed up. Can you go in here, mister? Um, I am going to take these books. I never can say no to books. Even though we have a cow farm now, so we got plenty of leather to make books. And what do we got here? Light in here. No, 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 no. And one there. What do we got back here? 
Okay, that's the first one I'm gonna close off. You, go inside! What are you doing out here, dude? It's night! Yeah, you, with the green eyes, come on! Go inside, everybody, inside, inside, go inside! You, right there, go! Go! No, don't go that way, noob! Thank you! Always gotta be difficult, villagers! <laughs> I think everyone is inside, this might actually... Work out really good. I hear him. I hear you. Right, how many more doors? Any anything else? Anyone else? Yeah, but um I found one priest. The rest are all leather workers. Hey, string, yay, give me string. No string then. Stupid spider eye. Oh, there is a crop plot here. All right. How did I miss that? Just lighting up the area a little bit. So when I come back here later on, it's not going to be so hostile. How you doing, buddy? All right, no skeleton archers yet. Eat those guys. Ooh, look at those guys. How you doing? I'm gonna convert many of you. They seem to spawn a lot more um, in 1.9. These were used to be like super rare. And right, let's put a light right here. Here. See if there's anything in the. Hey, it's on hard mode. How come he didn't try to break the door down? Is there one in here? Ooh! There sure is. Alright guys, I think this looks good. I'm gonna get back to the ocean. And make my way home. And we continue on the skeleton farm. I'm back at the skeleton farm now, where last time we set up the redstone and everything so we can disable the spawner by um, unpowering the pistons so the pumpkin lights can go and shine through. So right now it's disabled, it seems to work really well with these on the floor. There is something that we might have to tweak here, um, but I'll show you guys later why. Um, but I got the two dispensers, so we're going to put them in here. And I'm also going to put the water bucket in it already. Now, there is one problem, okay? That when we flip the lever on the outside, we're going to apply a redstone signal. So the pistons extend. And then also the pulls can trigger the dispensers to push out the water. But if we turn the lever off, this does not get another pulse. It only works on the actual redstone signal that these guys dispense the water or suck it back in. Let me demonstrate that here real quick. We put a lever right there. So turn the lights off by extending it. The water comes out. I turn it off. Nothing happens. Look at this. Already one spawned so fast. And just with the water. That's the whole thing. We're going to have to figure something out. Might have to reduce some of them. You know what? Thank you, booger. <laughs> All right, so now, of course, the water sucked back up because I gave it a second redstone signal. The way we can handle this, so you actually get a pulse even when you disable the lever in the front, is via a piston. Because the piston has two states, on and off, extracted or not. And we're going to use a sticky piston here with a redstone block. And then we're going to put two comparators here. So right now, this one is... Um, triggered that's you say see the redstone is off from the front and it will then trigger this one also and if i turn it on i can demonstrate it here with a lever it's gonna trigger again so it's always gonna trigger something on and off and then all we need to do here is run a redstone wire to both of these dispensers you guys heard this one dispense and this one dispense and now if i turn it on Actually, let me think here for a second. Uh, right now, it is 
dispensed, but I don't want the water dispensed. You heard it? Now it's gonna have them sucked up. Yep, the water is gone. You guys see that? But of course I want it to be... Now it's powered, so I actually need it to be the other way around. Now it's dispensed, and the way we can sink this right now is just break the redstone, place it again. So now it's in the off state, the water is sucked up. As you guys can see. And now if I connect this right here, actually let me take the lever off first. Now if I connect it right here, it's hooked up to our other circuit. So if I flip the lever in the front and the pistons extend, the lights can turn off, this gets triggered, water gets dispensed. I turn the lever in the front back off. Pistons retract and this one also comes back. I hope it makes sense. This is just to make a whatever you want to call this a a double pulse. I, I don't know what to call this here guys, um, but I hope you understand what it's supposed to do. Now the next thing that we need to do is actually do something with these guys, right? And that is what I have these two shafts prepared for. They're gonna come out here, come over here and then go in on water elevator all the way up. I did try a piston elevator, but they do not work. Um, simply because they're gonna get stuffed with the skeletons and then it all goes bad. Um, once it's stuffed, it's really hard to get rid of them. So I'm just gonna go and make a normal water elevator like you guys have probably seen a few times before. And what I found the easiest way to go about this, okay? From right here, wherever we're gonna make the kill, place let's let's set this up real quick i think it is flush with this yes so let's say i want the kill spot where they face plant when when i'm making it the af key farm they face plant right there okay and is this gonna give us enough room to decorate this later on nicely yeah it should be yeah, I think so. So from right here, I need to go up 23 blocks now. And um, down here, you know what? I'm only going to make it... Hmm, should I go all the way? Yeah, I'm going to make it a whole 3x3. Three three. That's fine. So what I'm going to do here, of course, is... Okay, here's the reason why I'm starting with the with the drop shoot first. Because once I'm up here in 23, and then there's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's it's broken through to this drop or elevator shaft over here. Once I have it lined up up there and then come over, then I can come down all the way and then figure out, because you got to have a certain pattern with signs and water. And whenever I build the elevator first, then usually on the top, I have to tweak it. Like go one higher and have them drop an extra block, something like that. So this time I said I'm going to build this up from this way first. And I'm going to actually have one. Um, let's just go three over here. It doesn't matter. We can always change this later. And I'm simply going to make a spruce ring around like this. And then in the front later we can say that we want maybe, you know, glass or something, whatever we want. And I'm going to go ahead and build this up all the way to the top real quick. So that is right where I pill it up here, all the way to the top, 23 of these blocks. And then up here, I just decorated this a little bit to give it some light. And over here is where the water elevator is going to come up. I just closed it off with a leaf so I cannot fall down easily. So they're going to come up here where the elevator and then they're going to get pushed over this way and then fall down this hole. Now over here, you don't need this, of course. I just put this here because I'd like to have a... It's like a maintenance shaft. I'm not exactly sure that's the next thing I want to build after I get this up here. A way for me to easily get up here. That's that's all I want to do in case something doesn't go right um, or anything. Then I can come up here and just check on if there's, you know, maybe something stuffed. Maybe something spawned in here. Who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and go back down now. And there's something, by the way. Um, that I thought was fixed a long time ago. You know, when you when you dig down real fast with dirt or something, sometimes you have these blocks that actually don't get broken, but they're disappeared. And then when you need to, you need to relock to fix that. I'm sure you guys have noticed that before. And it still seems to be happening with leaves and shears. 
So, just wanted to tell you that when you dig down on leaves, make sure you take your time. <laughs> and now I'm gonna build this tower up also, just so it's there. Let me see here real quick. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I wanna make the same over here. I wanna have eight glass, so they're kind of symmetrical. Um, and I'm gonna make my way all the way up there. But I probably want to... Yeah, let's put light here real quick like this. And I'm going to... I don't have a water bucket on me. Right here. I'm gonna put a water source in here. So I can... Yeah, so I can jump down. Actually... Let's do it a different way here for a second. We are going to put a sign... One, two... Yeah, right there. And I'm gonna need to close this off for now and put the water bucket up here. So I just get slowed and I can just walk out and this way I can still leave the light in here. I hope it makes sense. Just so I can come back down once I pull it up over there or anything for the next few minutes until I have that access shaft. All right, guys, I'm gonna get busy here and pillar up the second one. So I did build this access shaft going all the way up there. It's on the same height, then it comes over and to the left. And I'll show you guys when we get up top what it looks like. And you see that I tore down the bottom again here because I told you earlier, I personally always have problems getting these set up the correct way. The, the thing is that you need to have water as the bottommost block, which is going to come from over here flowing this way, okay? And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will actually stop just one before. So right here is gonna be, water can flow eight far, okay? So it could flow to here, but it actually stops here. So the mobs get pushed in here, and then there is gonna be a, a sign here at this height, and then the next water. So it's gonna be water, sign, water, sign, and so on. And the topmost block is also water. That's important that you align it that way. And the thing how I um, have the easiest time doing that is I'm going to pillar up with leaves right now. And you'll see in a second that it's going to be a little pain in the butt to do. But there is a little trick because you're going to have to go down a few times to get more water. Um, but the way I'm going to do it up here is... I'm going to just for now, so I cannot die, block this off, okay? And we are gonna put a sign here for right now. This is gonna be closed off, by the way. If there's gonna be spruce and glass, and the same over here. Spruce and glass, I just don't have it in there yet, so I can still walk around. And over here, by the way, is that access shaft, okay? So I can come up here anytime I want, and we're gonna need this here in a minute. So, up here is that water. That top was okay that i told you and that's one two three four five six seven eight it's gonna go exactly to here so you don't need anything if you have these two shafts closer together because you're building it different simply put a sign right there and then the water stops here also it cannot go because you don't want the water flowing down because then your um skellies won't take any fall damage so that's but we don't need it here because it stops exactly here so, this right here is they're going to swim up, come out, and then get pushed over. Now, you could also make this three high if you want to, but I found out that if you have it only too high, then they jump less. Because the problem I noticed is they're still in the water over here, and if, they, if it's three high, and they should jump right before they fall down, then you cannot make it an XP farm because a lot of them are gonna die an impact because they're gonna get this extra height. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do here now is take out this leaf block and place a sign. Then I'm gonna take out this leaf block and place water. And I could actually make an endless water source up here real quick. That way I don't need to go down. Yeah, why don't we do that real quick? That would make sense. So, let's do that. This, and we can fill up these two again. And these two. So, because now, you know, if you swim down here, I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm actually in an air bubble, so I don't suffocate, right? 
And then you just gotta be quick. It's, it's, I mean, it's no biggie, really. Just break the leaf. Place the sign. Oh, I messed it up. Dang it. <laughs> We're gonna place the sign down here. All right, and then my head needs to be water. And then you just go down two. Place the sign here again. Place water at your head. And it's gonna get a little dark here, sorry about that. Again, sign on the bottom. And water at your head. So now let's say I'm out of water, right? So I'm gonna just, you swim up. Because it's the same way as it is for, for the skellies for you, right? And then, uh, let me get out of here, good. And then I can just fill my buckets again, all the way until I'm at the bottom. And I'll meet you guys down there. Just closing up my mess up here. And I'm gonna quickly break this sign and close it off. And we can place this glass now because we don't need to go in here anymore. And this one over here. This, my two leaf blocks. And you guys see, I can barely move against this. So I'm gonna come over here, the skellies, and then they would fall down. And because we have this leaf block here, well, I'm just safe right now. And I'm gonna close this off. So this up here is actually all done now. We shouldn't have to come up here besides to maybe watch it. And I'm going down. All right, good. Now, over here, I stopped with the last sign, okay? So now let me show you how I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. Okay, at minimum over here, when these guys come out, where do I actually want to drop? I want to drop right here. Yes. Yep. Yep, that's how I want it. Oops, I need my pick. And you guys can see I already tinkered around with this earlier. But I didn't want to show it yet to make sure you guys are like, hey, he's jumping ahead. But we need to come... And I actually don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll see here. So I want these guys to drop down to minimum. And of course, we're going to need a sign right there. So the water that comes in from there stops here and they just fall down. And then down here on the bottom is going to be that water that pushes them all the way to over here. So, but in order for us to figure out if this is actually aligned right... So there's water, sign, water, sign. Ooh, it worked out. Nice. That's what I told you guys. You need water at the most, bottom most, and then sign. And then here's going to be water and water. So we can actually close this off right now. Sweet. I can't believe that this is actually lining up. Um, right away. Nice. I like it when things work out. <laughs> so, this is gonna be too high. And I do... Let's see here. Let's fill this in first. Like that. And it's too high, so... We won't be able to see them anyway. But I guess... One, two... We can put glass right here and here now over here guys i actually want wood right there and even here the reason for that being is that there's going to be light coming into the into the spawner cage and if this is glass all the way there's going to be more light so this way i'm just going to have less light being able to come over there and you know what just so it looks better i'm going to put this right there and this glass is just so I can actually see them come out. That's it. So they're gonna come here. There's... Um, why do I keep hearing a zombie? Driving me bonkers. There's gotta be a cave or something that I haven't uh, discovered yet. What a pain in the butt. So... We're gonna need glass here. Then water there. And this water here is gonna probably... Let me see here. Nope, I can put glass right here. They won't be able to... Yep, perfect. And then, of course, the last glass right there. And... Hmm. 
Yes. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like it. <laughs> this needs to be wood. And even this one here. Yep, like that. I like that better. So now let me just double check here. Hmm, we could actually take that right real quick. No, because, yeah, I still have water over here. Yeah, I can show you guys once. Why not? So they come down here. And then their pathfinding will make them just go up. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing these skeletons do. It's not the fastest. It's going to be dark for a second. But I'm still swimming up. And it's getting brighter again because we're getting to the top. They come out here and then get pushed over. And bam, splat. And they're down here. So that's how this works. Um, and I like it. I, I'm, I'm, I think it looks cool so far. Yeah. So now the next thing we need to do, of course, is build something over here. I actually don't like the way this looks over here. And we don't need these two pieces. We don't need this one. We don't need this, this, or this. I like this better. And also over here, I want to do a change. And that is going to allow us to look in. How am I going to align this? Um... Let's use this guy, because half slabs do not let life through, in case you didn't know that. And we can do it like this. And hmm, hmm. let's see here. So I can still, I, uh, I don't like it. No, not down here. I don't think this one we should do because then they actually might be able to shoot us too we can leave this and leave one here i just want to be able to see inside for when they start spawning i hope that makes sense and okay so they come here they fall down so right here is actually where i need a slab and another one right there and they don't let light through guys um and this one here either but I'm not sure if I like this one. I think it should be on the bottom. I'm just worried that they're going to be able to come here and shoot out if I walk around. But who cares if they shoot me once or twice. It's not going to be the end of the world. And we can always change it. Later on, you're not going to be able to see any of this either once we dress this up. But you know, right here, you can see the spawner. And when the lights are off, we're going to be able to watch them. So, over here, I hollowed out. Reason being for that is... That right here is the kill block, the one that I just removed. And I want to have a hopper here. So the hopper is going to come down. We're going to have a... Ooh, going to have to have a... Wait, that's the hopper. Yeah, I'm going to need to have a half slab here or an upside down stair. Do I have a stair over here? Nope, let's make one real quick. I'd rather have a stair than a half slab because we won't be able to see that. Um, the hopper is going to go into a... Oh, getting confused here. Bam. So the chest is going to be... Let me place the chest real quick. There's going to be a chest here and there. That's where the hopper goes into. So right here, I'm going to need a upside down stair like this so you can tell and we can still open the chest and i don't need this anymore and then um the next chest is gonna be here and here and then here and here we're just gonna have three chests the hopper is gonna go into that one and then we're gonna have another hopper pointing into this one and this one so it goes into this chest it's always going to fill the bottom one first and then the other ones. And don't worry, this is just temporary. Later on, we're going to have some kind of a sorting system and storage system for everything that we get from here. But just for now, I want to have something here. And then the hopper is pointing into this. So this is, they're going to splat right here, dead. And their stuff is going to get sucked up. So, but I'm actually going to remove this water now. I don't need to jump down anymore. And they probably all fell in here already, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but there's one other thing. And that is, 
when I actually want to make this an XP farm. There is a um, big difference. Um, the thing is, I think every block they fall is half a heart of damage. So 23 is going to be more than 10 and they're dead for sure. And I came up with the 23 um, when I tried 22. Sometimes they survived, okay? Some of the armored ones are going to survive regardless, guys. Um, there's always going to be some some hero that is going to survive. And let me just put some light here. Actually, put it here. It's not for mobs, it's for you guys. And then I had the thing is where I'm going to have a piston back here, right? And when I flip a lever, that piston is going to get pushed this block in here. And then they're going to collect here so I can kill them and get the XP. Well, the problem was that many times they still died until I made this one and a half high. So now I actually do need a slab. Um, no, I'm going to make this out of birch wood because these are going to be movable parts. So to clearly identify them, that's going to be birch. And that's going to be birch. So these one and a half are going to get pushed out here. And then I found that they, they just don't die. Um, so that works out really well. And up here, can I place a piston on a half slab? No. So I need to make this a regular block for a second. I don't know why. I, I, I've never figured out why it is such a big deal to let us place uh, pumpkins. Or jack-o'-lanterns. I, I never understood that. What the point is behind that. But anyways. So these are the two that are going to get pushed out. So. Let's place. The pistons for these. And it's probably going to be hard to place them. With the way I'm standing. They're going to need to be sticky pistons. Guys I'm trying to hurry up. So we can get all of this. Into the episode. But I really want to finish this today. Can You got to be kidding me. Why are you doing this? All right, there we go. All right, so these two... Can I... Mm, I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna run the redstone. But I do want full, full blocks here. Because sometimes you're gonna have stuff getting pushed out otherwise. So these two pistons are gonna push these two blocks in if I want it to be an XP farm. Um... But while it is a kill farm, okay, we need to have, these two need to go away. When, when it's an actual kill farm, we need to have two pieces of glass here. Because I noticed that if there's nothing here and they just splat, the items a lot of times fall out. The hopper doesn't get a chance to pick them up. So we're actually going to put two more pistons here that are gonna be in charge of these two glass blocks and unfortunately there won't be any chance for me to ever really hide them at least i haven't figured one out yet so we're gonna have two levers one lever is gonna be right here and the other one actually we need them one higher right there and right there this one right here, if I flip it, I want this to change from right now it's killing to XP. And this one right here is going to be that switch right there, that lever that turns the farm on or off. So why don't we start with the easy one here first? And that is going to be... Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to go up top. That's going to be easier to see. And I am going to flip. It needs to be. In the. I just want to. I'm going to turn it on. Just so I can see if the redstone actually works. I like doing that. Because then you can see the redstone actually moving. And I need to come down here. So this guy right here is going to go away. And we're going to come. Just say here. Oh god, where's the lever? Right against this block. Okay. Now I believe if I put something... Come on, right there. And put redstone that should be powered. Yes, cool. 
Can I reach this now so I can turn it off? No, 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 no. Come on, let me turn it off. Sweet, because otherwise this is going to now expand the pistons and then we have spawns and I don't want that. This one powers this block. We can't have that, so it needs to come up like this. All right, so this lever is hooked up. If I flip this now, the farm would get turned on. So cool. Um, and the other one is going to be a little bit more difficult here because I need the I um, placed these two wrong. You guys probably saw that because well, where they're going to extend to, they need to be out one further. They need to be against this right here. Get them back here. All right. It took me a second to figure this out now, but I think I got it. I closed this off, so I stopped falling down. We're powering this block right here, so I'm going to remove these two. And get up here from about here. That should be good enough. And I'm going to place a sticky piston here. And a redstone block right there. That should do the trick, yes. So now we need to power these two pistons and these two pistons. And the easiest way to do that is if we have a block here and a block there. And block down here. So I'm, I'm just trying to set up the redstone first because it sometimes helps me understand that this redstone powers this block which extends the bottom piston and because i run the redstone on top it will also extend this piston so now from here let's see when this is extended i want the redstone to go up here that should not power this up there right right wait a second yeah, that should work, hopefully. I need to get up here somehow. So from there, and then we'll come down one, two, right there. Actually, no, we don't need to go back. We can just come right here. Sorry if I'm sometimes not talking a lot when I do redstone, but I have problems you know, picturing this in my mind and talking at the same time. So now if I power this, these two get pushed out. And these two here... I need to be the opposite. So if this lever is off, they need to be extended. If it's on, they need to be pulled back. And I think we can do that by... Let's see here. Boom. What? So the redstone goes here. Then up? No, we're gonna need to go back one further. Just to give me a little more room. So we're gonna come here. A redstone and this redstone comes to here. And this is gonna disable this torch. And then we need a redstone here and here and then of course on top right so now these two should be extended yes that is what we want so now it's a kill farm they fall down and i flip this lever these two get retracted and these two extend um now it's a kill a kill farm but of course i still need to add yeah we still need to add a piece of glass up here so now I can just hit them in the feet when they fall down. I think that is it, guys. Um, I might clean this up here a little bit. I'm not too happy about it, but I don't want to spend any more time. That's just something simple. So now it is a kill farm. So why don't we... Why don't we try out the other one? Actually, now it's XP farm. Now it's the kill farm. So I think we give this a spin, guys. Let's turn it on. And you guys saw them instantly falling down. What? 
Did this guy just shoot me through the glass, or was that from over there? Huh. Alright, and they're up they go. All the way to the top, and then they're gonna get... Come over. And if you stand right here AFK, or over here, like in this spot, or whatever, we are... You just gotta be within 16 blocks of that spawner. Yes, so that is 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I can stand all the way there. Huh? There they come. They just smash, fall down, die, and give us their goodies. Right there. We got three bones and three arrows already. So now let's try out the other way. This way. And when they come down, none of them should die. Is there any more coming? What's happening here? They might be on top. I don't think that the caves in the area, there we go, should make any difference. And... Hmm, I don't want to use this one up. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Uh, let me just dump some of the stuff here real quick so I have room. None of this is needed. And we are actually going to make... Where's my sticks? I brought the enchanting stuff down here. Because I was playing with these guys a little bit earlier. Let's just make two of them right now. Because they shouldn't need many swings and the sword has AoE, right? So let's have at it. There's no reason to punch them. And we're getting XP and everything. So I'm really happy. It works, guys. Um, It's going to be a lot of work. All right, this 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 is no good. I might do it this way. Let's see. What if I? Hmm. He can still shoot me through that. Well, like this. Oh, that's that's ugly. I don't care. Let them shoot me a few times. <laughs> I'm gonna be over here mostly anyway where they can see me and sometimes you see some one of them died So I don't know. I, I don't want to go up two blocks I guess I could because I have the room, but in my testing um, I have found that m I've barely had any die with one and a half down here Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and let me know what you guys think about the spawner We have a lot of work to do which is definitely not gonna be next time. We're gonna take a break from this I want to go to the nether um but, you know, all this needs to be shaved back a lot because I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I want this to look like an underground overgrown temple kind of structure. You know, something that fits in the jungle. So all of this, you're not going to see, you know, I still need to pull in the roof and so on. But there's no stress. Now I get an XP farm, which is really cool. And we got tons of arrows and the likes. Um, which is going to help us a lot when we go to the nether. But that is enough for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.